check it out man look at what we found a 1984 Firebird with an LQ9 in it, man. <laughs> oh, man. Except it's not the LQ9 that uh, a lot of us think about. Not that uh, 6.0. <laughs> no, man. We got a an Iron Duke. A freaking Iron Duke. Firebird, look at the last on the road, 2015. I don't know how many of these they made. Fairly straight car, I'd say. You know. There's the info on her. See that GT4, that LQ9, <laughs> oh man, thought they were trying to work on it man, look at that, what we got here, we even got a uh, service manual for 1984, oh man that's pretty neat. Look at that. She did have a manual. I pulled it out. I think they're trying to sell it separately. I looked under there and yes, she does have the hole. Somebody cut it out for the, uh, <laughs> for the, uh, change fuel pump. I guess she needed that just those are better gears in that rear end uh you know <laughs> help out those ni that 90 horsepower i think the difference between the lq9 and lq8 i think i read was one was carbureted the other one was throttle body fuel injected there it is man the iron dookie <laughs> somebody called it an iron puke Man, with AC in there, oh boy. Power steering, I wonder how much, uh... How long it took it to get up and go. But I bet in this day and age, you know, with gas prices as they are right now, they, uh... I bet it sit probably about 40, maybe 50 miles of the gallon, I don't know. No. <laughs> there it is, people. Just how to get a quick one of this car. Let's see what the mileage is on it. I don't think I've ever ran across one of these. There's your man pedal. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there it is, people. Like I said, <laughs> just want to get a quick one of this one. They're already honking the horn. We gotta get up out of here, so. All right, on to the next one.